On April 14, 2020, Governor Shea Makinde signed the Oyo State Agribusiness Development Agency Bill into law. The Act made provision for the establishment, composition, and powers of the Oyo State Agribusiness Development Agency, OICEDA. By signing this bill, Governor Makinde showed that his administration is determined to make agribusiness one of the drivers of economic development in all your states. Shortly thereafter, Dr. Debo Akonde, the executive advisor to Governor Shea Makinde on agribusiness, was named the director general of the newly formed agency. Let us take a closer look and track the accomplishments of OISADA under the supervision of Dr. Debo Akonde. Governor Shea Makinde has always stated that the only business that government should have in business is to create an enabling environment for the private sector to thrive. How has OISADA been used to keep this promise? Um, a lot has happened and um, we can only thank God for what has happened. Um, through um, OISADA, um, we supported, uh, we, we have developed the strategy implementation. I think it's essential to mention that because what Excellency has said, and which is quite right, is that this government will not work without a direction. Um, we will work using a template. We will ensure that uh, we are well guided by strategy. We are well guided by the implementation processes that has been well def defined and designed from the beginning. So we have strategy in place. We have strategy implementation. We develop the strategy brief. You know, so we know exactly what we are interested in doing. So that to me is quite important. Um, it is not a, a tangible product. It's an intangible product, but very, very essential and very important. Barely three months after the Oyo State Agribusiness Development Agency became operational, OISADA facilitated a first-of-its-kind agribusiness educational program in Nigeria. Working with the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IITA, the Start Them Early program was initiated at Fashola Grammar School, Fashola. So you're welcome to the STEP Agribusiness Facility here in Fashola Grammar School. The STEP stands for Start Them Early Program. We deal with secondary school students. In STEP, we have um, various enterprises where we engage our students. We engage them in crop and mechanization. This is the field where they do their practice. We also have our um, value addition students, which will be seen inside. There's the ICT students, those ones also is inside. Then the poultry farm and the screen house. The state has, uh, has done well by ensuring that it uh, uh, took over a major project on, that deals with young people at secondary level. And that is the project referred to as STEP, Start Them Early Project. It was initially initiated by IIT at Fashola. Um, this project is meant to, to work on a mindset change for younger people, where they will not see agriculture as a punishment any longer but they will see it as a business, and not in theory, not just in theory, but they will practicalize what is being said. So uh, what you see in step now is that it is not cutlasses and hope for production, but mechanization. Uh, processing is taking place in different schools as it is currently. Um, they are engaging in, in business enterprises, and they are leading these business enterprises by themselves. So young people at early stage are already now doing poultry keeping. They are doing processing from cassava to some other uh, process uh, product. You know, and they are doing their own marketing, so they are, they are growing uh, in, in different areas that is required in an agribusiness. But beyond that, uh, it is not just about agriculture alone, we are also engaging them strongly on um, um, technology. At Fashola, when we, the project started, there were less than 2% of the people that said they know how to use ICT. Currently now it has jumped to over 80%. Ogun, Lagos, Kaduna and Kanu State have all visited Oyo State to understudy this program 
with a view to implementing it in their states. The success of STEP at Fashola Grammar School has also led to an expansion of the program to all the geopolitical zones in Oyo State, with a plan to include six more schools within the next one year. this program had on the lives of beneficiaries. My name is Step Aladikuko Malik. What we do here is farming and we make use of machines, simple machines. I like using brush cutter, which, which is motorized lasher and seed planter. I've learned how to plant, how to make use of machines. When I leave the secondary school, I would like to become a neurosurgeon and I will also have a small, I will also have a farm that I will be planting. You are welcome to the laboratory, the STEP laboratory. So this is the lab, this is a standard lab where we train students on different practicals. We have, we train them on physics, chemistry and biology. So here the students tend to have hands-on practical in which they learn things they've been taught in class and things that will be useful to them when they leave school. Here we train them on chemistry practical, they've done, they've been trained on um, titration, on separation techniques. In biology they've done food tests, in physics they've done electricity. So here instead of them, um, instead of the alternative to practical they are used to, the, here they do the hands-on practical and they are more experienced now. So through the STEP training, these students now can perform practicals on their, on their, um, by themselves. The Stardom Heli program of Governor Sheyi Makinde and uh, IITA, in partnership with IITA, uh, is is uh, a great work and uh, it has really changed the image of this school. With SEP, we're creating a new generation of agropreneurs. When you listen to these uh, young ones uh, speak passionately about the things they are learning about agribusiness, it is exciting what these kids can accomplish once you give them an opportunity. This is why in our states, we remain committed to providing access to education. My best, the best part for me is when we did everything, especially donuts. Then I've ever heard that they are using cassava flour to make donuts, to make um, ching ching. But when I joined this group, um, this enterprise, then I know that they are using cassava, um, cassava flour to, do, to make donuts, to make chin chin. This is Value Addition Enterprises. You are, welcome, you are very welcome to um, Value Addition Enterprises. The soy milk we are doing, this is the, um, the waste thing we extracted from it. And we can use it to do cookies, our cookies. In keeping with his promise to make the youths the focus of his third year in office, Governor Shea Markinde launched the Youth Enterprise in Agribusiness Project in May 2021 with 1,000 youths. Before then, a pilot program was run at the Oyo State IITA Youth Agribusiness Incubation Park Center, Awe. This center is um, running as a partnership between IITA and Oyo State Government. 
and um, it's basically to train young people new generation of farmers, those who will come into the agriculture to change the face of uh, the narrative in the agribusiness space. Uh, last year we moved in here after the inauguration by the uh, His Excellency uh, Engineer Shein Makinde and um, thereafter we have a series of discussion and we agreed to change the name from the former name being uh, the Rural Community Development Centre to R Oyo State RITA Youth Agribusiness Incubation Park Center. And then when we moved in, uh, we strict into action. And um, our, the first thing we do is to have what we call infrastructure upgrade. Having resources from both the IIT and the state government. If we look around, we see that um, the government promised us uh, when we came in that they are going to support us with infrastructures. And we are more, uh, more than honored to receive this support uh, in the likes of power, um, having um, a 50 kVA generator and a solar panel installed and they are working. We also have a support with, with respect to fencing because of the security. And then uh, currently we have from the IITA side, we have our cassava processing center renovated and uh, currently operating. His Excellency for giving us this opportunity to be a part of this project because as I mean different quite different from the way we see our culture before we've seen our culture in a quite different dimension most especially the modern agricultural practice in which we are exposed to the technological aspect for instance we make use of drip irrigation for our irrigation and not just about watching them do the irrigation, we as a trainee, we can set and do all these things too. From the laying of the drip, from the connection to everything, we can do them ourselves now. And it's quite a knowledge for us, which we, we, which will be with us forever. Some of the 50 youths that were part of the pilot program are already interning with private sector partners. At the completion of their internship, they will have business ventures set up for them. I am here at Simply Green Farm, Shola Ladoja Farm. Since we get there here, yeah, I've experienced a lot. I know how to plant lettuce how to grow some garbage, salad mix, even though here I learned how to drive tractor, of which I don't have experience of it before. It's a great experience to be here. So far, we thank the DG Oxida, Dr. Debo Akade. He has been doing so wonderfully well. We thank the governor of Ohio State, Engineer Sheyi Makinde. He's doing great. He's trying to to make a chances where you can help employ youth, where you can slot in youth so that the youth cannot be jobless. He are freely trying out for us. We really, we really appreciate him. We thank him for what he has been doing so far. In July 2021, Governor Shea Markinde signed an MOU with CSS Global Integrated Farms, Nassau State to train 3,000 youths from your state on technology-driven food systems. After a successful certification of the first 300 youths, Governor Shane Markinde again increased the number of YEP beneficiaries to 10,000 youths. The agribusiness industrial hubs evolved from Governor Shea marking this plan to convert the abandoned farm settlements in your state into agribusiness hubs. Three settlements at Fashola, Akufo, and Irua were emerged to serve as pilot projects. What we've been able to do is to uh, start 
the implementation of the um, agribusiness hub, um, which is generally known as the farm estate. Okay, so and the, uh, that has commenced at uh, Fashola, um, among many others in, uh, in Oyo State. It's currently being built. And when that uh, is uh, finalized, it is expected to contribute uh, greatly to food production within the state. Beyond that, uh, we're expecting to have at least close to around 10 processing, com 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 um, processing uh, center companies within the facility. And those processing centers will, will cater for processing of crops within that particular facility of agribusiness hub and the environment. So um, that, the idea behind having agribusiness hub is to have something that is an industrial agricultural uh, centers to process things, to produce and process within, but also to support the immediate uh, community. So we started that with Fashola. Um, we are, once we are done, we are moving to Irua, we are moving to Akufo. In June 2021, Governor Shea Markinde performed the groundbreaking ceremony of the Fashola Agribusiness Industrial Hub. The Oyo State Government thankfully decided to redevelop this farm and to bring to pass part of their mandate in rejuvenating agriculture in the state. We have the beautiful scenery, we have the dam, and we have the areas in which will be well landscaped that will cater for your entertainment and entertainment needs. Also, we are all not all into agriculture in Fashola farms. There will be the admin section, there will be crutch for workers and even the people of the land. There will be clinic, there will be um, fire stations in case of accidents. Not only that, we have apartments that people can buy into, like a farmhouse. You can live with the hustling and bustling of Ibadan and come here for a weekend. Bring your children, bring your grandchildren to come and see what is happening in Oyo State. Although Oysega was created primarily to cater to a new set of clientele, namely private sector players into agribusiness, the smallholder farmers were not left out. Through interventions such as the buyback program introduced as part of the Oyo State COVID-19 intervention and the Oyo Cares project, smallholder farmers were also carried along. <laughs> We, uh, as an agency, supported the um, response to COVID-19 um, impact on the state. Um, I was uh, selected by His Excellency to lead the food security. Uh, uh, mitigation against the impact of COVID-19 on the food security within the state um, as the lead for OISEDA and uh, by virtue of doing that we're able to support close to around 9,000 smallholder farmers in the state. With all your cares, the plan is to touch the lives of 20,000 real farmers in the next two years. Bati se imakide to ti bere ise nipa o to ta ri gbogbo nkan change si daada nipa oko wa ta nse nka oko ota daada ma na do ngba do afun ma pe kolorun o tun ma ran wa lowo si gbogbo e to tun ku na ti mo ti se kolorun o fun wa fun mo le se ko fun ko ru an lagbara eh one try one gbiyanju 
Women farmers have not been left out. Working with the French government through the support to women entrepreneurship in the agri-food sector in Algeria, Sefen Swan program, 150 women in Oyo State were empowered through agribusiness training in July and August 2021. I came to IT regarding this one uh, empowerment program. It enriches the women in agriculture regarding uh, farm produce, soya milk, uh, cassava planting, and which has been of tremendous help actually. I learned at least what I'm able to take home is regarding the soya milk, the processing, how nutritious it is, how advantageous it's been, and it's been so wonderful. I enjoyed it, and I'm grateful. Um, so far, I've learned a lot concerning, starting from how to register my business, how to brand it, how to package it so that it can be received both nationally and internationally. But so far so good, the facilitators have been wonderful. They, they disseminated the information to the lowest level and we understood all the, the totals. It's been an impactful program. Uh, it's a much needed program, which I know will touch a lot of people, especially women. Because as it has been said during the program, 80% of production, food processing, that gets to every table, comes from women. So it's a much needed information so that we can heal our world. So I'm grateful to, and I'm, I'm privileged to be part of this. Um, the program has been so impacting, at least we've learned how to go and improve our products and how to get government certification such that our products can go beyond our local communities. For example, NABDAC has been here, Smedan has been here, um, Exports, uh, Export um, Agency has been here, um, SUN has been here. We now know the procedures of how to get this certification such that our products can go beyond the shores. Um, you know, contrary to what we used to know that uh, we want to do NAVDAC, you need 500,000, it's not like that. You may not need up to that. You will need, uh, you want to do some, you need 1 million, it's not like that. My name is Shola Ladoja and you are at Simple Green Farm located in Ido Local Government of Oyo State. Um, Simply Green Farm is an integrated farm uh, where we specialize in the cultivation and production of vegetables and also high quality meat products. Um, I was trained professionally as an engineer, as an electrical and computer engineer. I worked for Norton Networks in the United States for a few years before moving back to Nigeria as a systems integrator. Uh, but upon moving back to Nigeria, I discovered that um, there were a lot of youths not in agriculture and our population were aged farmers. Uh, I decided to go into agriculture because I thought it was important to keep feeding the nation. Um, also, why Oyo State? It's because Oyo State is open for business. Oyo State um, gives us incentives to actually be here. Um, Oyo State um, gives us support, technical support, whenever we need them. So it's very good um, we establish in Oyo State because they've been very supportive throughout our journey. I'm Aziz Udoli, welcome to Farm Connect. There are two main things in Farm Connect. The first one is Farm Connect Institute of Data and Agribusiness Studies, and then we also have Farm Connect Agricultural Electronic Extension Service Center. The aim of all of these rooms is to give us the opportunity to train people. When I started Farm Connect, I had a lot of people talk, who talked to me, uh, why are you going to Lagos, that's where the money is. As a, I said, if I had gone to Lagos, I would have been choked. I felt at that time that Oyo would be more conducive for my business, and actually it's happened so. 
That's what made Farmgoner to grow from a 30,000 Naira hobby to a small business and started growing. Now we became PLC just last um, in April. So Oyo grew us, it's a conducive place. It's more peaceful. It's cheaper to run business in Oyo than to run in Lagos in every ramification. And the pressure is not as much as it is in Lagos. Pressure from all angles. The economic growth and prosperity being enjoyed by the people of Oyo State is a testament to the success of the various projects facilitated by OICEDA in Oyo State. Everyone who has an interest in any part of the agribusiness value chain has an opportunity to get involved. Students, the young, agropreneurs and smallholders, men and women are all touched by the activities of the Oyo State Agribusiness Development Agency. Indeed, OICEDA is a veritable tool for driving economic development in Oyo State.